I'd rather I'd rather do no, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got uh, you. So until then, what I my game plan right now is basically um, build them up to 30, 35 ish, uh, and what, I can just up throw dare because up throw dare gets at least like zero to twenty, zero thirty, literally impossible to break out because it won't cause knockdown. Yeah. Um, and once it starts causing knockdown, that's right before Saibi starts causing knockdown. So like, as long as I like get the early grab or whatever, I'm pretty much good. Uh, and then from there, I can just like do side B knockdown stuff and then like chase my opponent around. And I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with down B where I should use it and gifting the hell out of people. Also, that's... Like that. There you go. You just did it. You can hear me, right? I can't hear myself, so... I can hear you, but I don't know if your mic is on. Yeah. Also, yeah, that's, liter that's literally a... That's okay. a perfect example of what Sonic does. Z uh... Oh. Okay. Hello. Uh, yeah, okay, I can hear me now. Yeah. I just wasn't sure if my mic was actually on. It's fine for me. I don't know about that. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. We're, I'm good. We chilling. Yeah. Um. This is pretty much what I was also thinking is that I, before I didn't really know how to use Rascal in my gameplay very well, and I think I understand a little bit more now. Um. I understand the input a little bit better. Uh. And also I understand that I can just side beat people off stage and then just immediately down me, which is what Chewie's basically done. Yeah. Oh, and he saved them. Yeah. Um... Oh, no. Yeah. Unfortunate that one for Art. Yeah, probably one getting, of the worst matchups a melee Sonic. players could get. This is like, Chewie is basically a melee destroyer. He just breaks all the melee rules and picks PM-specific stuff and murders you off of it. What should Ark be doing? I know he doesn't understand Sonic as um, well. Uh, let me try and dissect I... neutral a little bit more, because I was explaining stuff more so, that match. Um, well, for starters, early early parts of Saibi, you can uh, buffer shield. He was like getting messed up by Saibi for 30%. Um, this is actually a horrible stage pick. Not gonna lie. Mar Marks likes to pick FD against people uh, that he can juggle. Not really a big fan of juggling Sonic. Um, he breaks out of position really easily. He doesn't have any kind of chain grab on him either because Sonic's floating. So, I'd say what Ark needs to be doing in neutral pretty much is just like, honestly, for Chewie specifically, his game plan is either spin or run up and grab with no mix up attached to it. So you basically just shield until he proves that he's going to grab. And then uh, after he starts grabbing, you uh, start beating the grab with like with like forward air or whatever. But until then, you basically just shield because everything he's doing is attacking. Yeah. All of his attacks are absolutely insane because his gimmick potential and like mobility and everything is like is absurd. But if you can shield, you at least can hold stage position and eventually poke. Yeah. Um, Ark's trying to challenge some of Zeus's stuff, and you don't really want to challenge any of Sonic's spin moves. Uh, I know that sounds weird, because a lot of characters do. Marth is one of the situations where you don't, because uh, active frames. Marth doesn't have the active frames to do it, so if he whiffs, he's fucked. Other, uh, unlike other characters where they have, like, the big, bulky, long-lasting hitboxes to deal with it. Like, say, like, Sheik or whatever. Like, pretty much all of Sheik's moves. Do you so personally you ever try to ball pivot grab the spins as Marth? Mm -hmm. I do it as Fox sometimes, but I'm a little faster, and I nah. also have mix-ups because my uh, aerials are a lot better at contesting Sonic stuff. I don't personally go for Brawl Pivot Grab against Sonic because uh, I, I treat that as uh, the same thing as challenging spin. Because, like, a very small amount of active frames, if you whip, you die. So yeah. it's like, if I know he's going to spin wow. nine times out of ten, I just, like, just shield. shield. Until he proves that he can grab. Once he starts to prove that he can grab, the game gets a little bit more complicated. Full hopping aerialing like this is Marth is definitely uh, not going to work though. Like he's like full hopping and like forward airing and trying to do stuff, and every single time he does it, like Zeus spins. Let's see if I can let's see if I can count it. That, that was a full hop fair that got hit punished by spin. Whip grab, punished by yeah. spin. Okay, he's oh. got uh, didn't really convert. Yeah, jumping, forward airing, all, all none of these are hitting. Okay, finally got one. But the thing is, is that he's not going to get anything off yeah, of it. Yeah, he got like two forward airs at yeah. reset, but he missed, and I got killed. Mart's only real scenario where he's going to damage Sonic is on knockdown, because Sonic has bad tech op uh, tech options and bad out of shield game. So, like, uh, if you're going to do anything to Sonic, you should be trying to, like, down air his spin if you're going to do that, or if you can get a grab somehow, um, forward throw tech chasing him is nice. Full hopping and aerialing, though, it's like... 
He can choose whatever, whenever he wants to come in at any point, though, so you're not actually taking up any space. Yeah. <laughs> you're not taking up any space that Sonic cares about, because he can be anywhere at any time. Yeah. So these full hop aerials, yeah, it's like... Not accomplishing anything. No, oh, that's it. Dead. Even dashing back after, he's just too... Sonic's just entirely hey, too fast. Way too many jumps. If you're jumping, you should be using it uh, as a way to intercept a spin. And usually it's with down air because you, uh, Sonic will spin right under you. Mm -hmm. If if you want to punish Sonic's spin with Marth, you don't want to do down tilt because if he runs up and like crouches or whatever, he can like grab you. Uh, so you pretty much just like jump in place, maybe fade back a little bit, and then down air because he's likely going to spin under you. It's very rare for the Sonic to preemptively expect you to jump in down air and then run in and nair you for it because that would imply the Sonic player is like trying to overshoot a normal. They only want to spin. Yeah. You definitely did everything wrong, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. That's the that's like the worst matchup you could get as a melee player. I, I wouldn't feel bad about it. I mean, Zach, like, Zach gave you some good advice what, uh, on commentary. You, stop full hop aerialing. You you did exactly what you're not supposed to do against Sonic. We we if you want to actually talk about it, we could talk about it later, but uh you played neutral horribly. Yeah. When you full hop an aerial, all it's telling Sonic is run under me and spin. And the only thing you did is you full hopped and you forward aired. It covered none of the space Sonic wanted to be in.